Developmental Hip Dysplasia National Program King Faisal Specialist Hospital Outreach Program Introduction, Proposal, All the pediatric orthopedic surgeons in Saudi Arabia agree that developmental hip dysplasia DDH and its surgical treatment occupy a very high volume of their practice. This developmental problem is very common in our country, and unfortunately it can affect the child functional capabilities negatively for life, especially if the problem was not treated by a specialized surgeon, who is experienced in treating this problem according to the standardized surgical treatment protocols. As other developmental problems, DDH treatment is dependent on the age of the child at presentation. Detecting this problem in the first months of life might preclude the need for the surgical treatment, when the conservative treatment modalities have a rule in treating this problem. Furthermore, if the problem was discovered at the walking age, when the surgical treatment becomes the mainstay of addressing DDH, the treatment outcome and the complexity of surgery itself are age-dependent as well, and as the child is younger at the surgery, good surgical outcome is more predictable. The hip joint is considered a deep joint in the body and the congenital or developmental problems involving this joint are very difficult to detect before the child is starting to walk when a lip towards the affected hip will force the family to take the child to the orthopedic surgeons. Early discovery of DDH requires a nationwide screening programs which have been implemented in the developed countries. Such a screening program is very difficult to start in Saudi Arabia. This fact dictates that most of DDH cases in our country are discovered at the walking age requiring surgical treatment. Surgical treatment of DDH entails delicate steps of open hip reduction, pelvic osteotomy, and possible femoral shortening osteotomy. At the end of the procedure, hip spike a cast a cast that will cover the lower abdomen and both legs will be applied to maintain the surgically reduced hip in its position. This cast will stay for six weeks, then the child will be reviewed in outpatient clinic to change this cast to a smaller one that will stay for another six weeks. At the second visit, the second cast will be removed and the child will resume his activities gradually over time. Despite the above mentioned procedure complexity, DDH surgery carries a low intraoperative and immediate postoperative complications rate. Routine post-operative care and hip spica cast care instructions are all what it is needed for the patient surgically treated. Currently, Pediatric Orthopedic Service in King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center KFSHNRC in Riyadh is receiving increasing numbers of DDH referrals from regions in the kingdom, which are lacking pediatric orthopedic expertise, like Kassim, Ha'il, Juf and Northern Borders. Despite the increased efforts to overcome this increased demand, the number of DDH cases is overcoming the hospital capacity because orthopedic service in KFSHNRC is treating broad spectrum of congenital and genetic musculoskeletal pathologies. Overcoming those challenges to provide a comprehensive health care for the Saudi children suffering from DDH has been a concern for all the pediatric orthopedic surgeons in KFSHNRC. The surgeons are willing to offer extra efforts and working hours to reach this noble target providing that the care of patients suffering from other problems is not negatively affected. The only practical and possibly implemented way to extend the pediatric orthopedic care to reach DDH patients in the kingdom is organizing a comprehensive developmental hip dysplasia health outreach program DDHHOP. Running a successful DDHHOP will yield several benefits treating increased number of DDH cases, with reduced financial demands on the patient's family and the Ministry of Health. Minimize the social stresses on the patient's family, doing their child's surgery in their hometown. Minimize the struggle encountered to travel with a child in big and heavy casts. Increase the national awareness about this common problem. Surgical education and training for the local surgeons to treat this problem surgically as independent surgeons in the future, which will reduce the number of DDH referrals to KFSHNRC. This program will entail virtual clinics that will assess the referred cases in their local hospital by KFSHNRC surgeons. If the diagnosis of DDH is confirmed clinically and radiologically, 
the DDHHOP will organize the treatment of the child as a shorter time and more effective way whether the treatment will be conducted in the local hospital under direct supervision of DDHHOP or the treatment will be conducted in KFSHNRC through a facilitated acceptance and surgical booking. The DDHHOP will start its first steps by choosing one of the health outreach hospitals in the targeted regions which are lacking pediatric orthopedic services. If the center is encouraged to embrace this program, one of the KFSHNRC pediatric orthopedic surgeons will visit or meet the authorities in that center to discuss the details of this program. This visit or discussion will also evaluate the center operating rooms, surgical wards, and orthopedic clinics to ascertain its connivance to operate DDHHOP packages.